bless you all. Um, I've been saved for uh, be two years in October. Um, I was brought up in church, brought up in a Christian home. My dad's a preacher, so all my life I've been brought up in church. Um, I never doubted that God was real. I knew that everything that they preached, I knew that it was right. Um, I knew that I was a sinner. I knew that I was going to hell. And going to church, I, was, I, I can honestly say that I never had a true relationship with the Lord because I was only young. And um, I can remember, even though I was only 13 when I got saved, I can remember before that, I can remember the emptiness and the loneliness that I had in my life that I couldn't explain it. And nobody ever knew. Everybody thought that I was a Christian because I used to use the name tag as a Christian, but I wasn't. And um, I go to church, I could stand up, clap my hands, raise my hands, could do whatever I wanted. And then I got to the age of about 12, 13, and then I just lost interest. I didn't want the things of God. I didn't, I didn't want to know about God. I didn't want to know anything about the Bible. I didn't care anymore. And the only reason that I wanted God was if he come back, I knew that he was coming back soon. And I knew that I needed him because if I died at a young age, I knew that I'd go to hell. And, um, and uh, I was, uh, my mum took me to, um, to a church in London. And b before I got there, um, she said, I know where I'll take you. She said, I'll take you to... Um, Potter's House. It's whatever Potter's House. She said, it's a great big church up in L London. She said, they do all concerts and things like that. And I thought, yeah, it's one of those things that she said she's going to take me, but she's never going to take me. And uh, she got on the phone to a friend. And she said, yeah, we'll take the girls tomorrow night if you want. And I couldn't believe it. And we goes through. And um, what I can remember, it was too weak. And I was listening to these two tapes of Mafia Man and... Uh, and uh, Nikki Cruz and I can remember just listening to him and wanting what these men had that there was such a change in their lives that I, I wouldn't listen to music that I'd put these on as soon as I get into the car and I got into this place and they preached all, uh, they had a, a great big play about hell and um, it was as if they was playing my life out and the man got up and he preached and I can't remember every word that he said but I knew that every word that he said it was for me and I got up and I got my knees at the front and I give my life to the Lord and I can honestly say that it's the best decision that I've ever made in my life that it isn't easy being a Christian sometimes you feel like giving up sometimes you feel well, well it'd be a lot easier because you wouldn't have oh well you're supposed to be a Christian and you can't do this and you can't do that but it doesn't matter about that because I know that if I died I go to heaven not because of anything that I've done or anything that I can do but because Jesus Christ died for me 2,000 years ago on a cross called Calvary and he took away my sin and if you don't know the Lord as your true personal saviour, and if you haven't got a relationship with him, you need him. You need him more than anything else this world has got to offer. You won't find what Jesus has got to give you in this world. You can try it as hard as you can. You can search all over the world, but you will not find what Jesus has got to offer. If you're here tonight and you don't know the Lord, and you're just messing about, or you've got the name tag as a Christian, but you know that you're not really saved, Give your life to the Lord, give him a chance, but mean it from your heart. And honestly, it is truly the best thing that you could ever do in your whole life. God bless. Amen.